Do you want to learn to design 10-sided dice like this using Autodesk Fusion? So let's get started. In Autodesk Fusion, start a new design and activate the Create Sketch tool. Now select this front plane as a sketch plane. Activate the Line tool from this Create panel and create a straight vertical line like this near the origin. Activate the Midpoint Constraint tool from the Constraints panel and constrain this vertical line with respect to the origin. Next, activate the Sketch Dimension tool and dimension this line length as 27 millimeters. Again, reactivate the Line tool and create an inclined line connecting the top point of the vertical line and apply the horizontal constraint between the bottom points of both lines. Now, define the angles between both lines as 46.5 degrees using the Sketch Dimension tool. Click on Finish Sketch. Before we'll move forward, please follow our page and save this video for future reference. Now, go to the Construct panel and activate the Offset Plane tool. Select this plane and make a new offset plane by a distance of half of the length of the vertical line, that is 13.5 millimeters. Next, select the new offset plane and activate the Create Sketch tool. Inside Create panel, Active Project tool and select this point to project it on the existing sketch plane. Now activate Inscribe Polygon tool from the Create panel and click on the origin and drag outside its a hexagon shape to change it to pentagon shape. Click the Tab key on your keyboard and define no of sides for the polygon as 5. Then click on the next projected point. Click on Finish Sketch. Also, turn off the origin. Now go back to Create Panel and activate this tool Loft. Select the pentagon profile and then the top point of the vertical line and click OK. Here is this 3D shape. Next, activate the Circular Pattern tool from the Create Panel and under the Objects, select this 3D shape. Then under the Axis, select this horizontal red X axis. Change the quantity as 2 and then click OK. Now activate the Combine tool from the Modify panel and select both the 3D solid bodies, one as a target body and the other as a tool body, and define the operation as Intersect. Make sure to untick this option Keep Tools and click OK. And here's your 10 face dice shape is ready. The only thing left is to deboss the numbers on each face. But before that, we will apply fillet to each edge and corner by 1 mm using the fillet tool. Also, we will change the corner type to setback. You can notice the difference. Now click OK. Now, finally, let's add numbers on each face. Since I am not aware of the pattern of the numbers on these dice, so I will put numbers randomly. If you have an idea about the number layout or pattern on 10-sided dice, please comment below. So here's our final design ready. See you in the next video.